This is no tall tale. They're usually the gentlest of giants. But it turns out there's one giraffe in the South African savanna who's willing to stick his neck out if you're driving by him in a Jeep. It started as the perfect safari photo op, up close with one of nature's most majestic creatures. So we can Wow, well, that's nice. We can do pictures, and you know, everybody was so excited. Oh, he's behind you, a left. But then, uh oh. The giraffe starts moving closer. The driver pulls away. Okay. Maybe now is the point to radio for help. But as the Jeep picks up speed, so does the giraffe. All 13 feet, two and a half tons of them. They try and get away, but the giraffe outruns the Jeep, sideswiping it at 30 miles an hour. Watch again that crunch is the side mirror coming off. A run in uncomfortably reminiscent to Jurassic Park's T Rex encounter. Close Encounters with the Giraffe was filmed by Rainer Schimpf. Some of those scenes you can actually see the giraffe was looking into the car and trying to butt hit the people. Eventually, they got away. It has to be very close to your head, eh? It was very close. And back at camp, Silke Tashinsky inspected the damage. During these safaris, you might worry about being attacked by a lion or a tiger or a bear. Did you ever worry about being attacked by giraffes? They're looking so cute. Never. It was in my mind they could do something like this. That animal just was crazy. Actually, turns out these graceful creatures are often fierce. Look and listen to this Discovery Channel footage from its series, Africa. Those necks are 500 pounds each. This was filmed by Dave Salmon. People tend to think of giraffe as nice, docile, sweet animals, and they, and they generally are but they're designed for fighting. These guys found that out the hard way. Okay, so you'll never guess what they're calling this area now. Giraffic Park. Sorry, I had to get that input in there. <laughs> Apparently the giraffe is happy because he has a hormonal imbalance, and Dan Viana, the tourists say they've learned one thing. A safari is not a petting zoo.